So I'm sitting with Chris Bull just now from the Dunfermline Building Society. He's taking part in the D to the D challenge. I see a lot of publicity relating to this challenge, but I don't really know what it is. Chris, can you tell us what it's all about, please? The challenge is we're taking nine riders riding from Derby to Dunfermline over a six-day period. Roll up for... That was almost a month ago and Chris has now successfully completed the cycle journey. Yesterday, along with his six team members, he arrived back in Dunfermline where he was greeted with some serious fanfare. Uphill, down dial, well six days, and then over the fourth bridge, and let me tell you, the drops either side. Oh, it's a bit different on a bike, just a bit. So, fantastic job, well done. Um, I'm not sure if this guy's Scottish or English, but anyhow, nevertheless, ne nevertheless, let's give a big, big welcome. This guy is, is, is played his part all the way along. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Paul! <laughs> All of his colleagues are particularly proud of Chris and uh, Caroline Rind had this to say. A few of the area managers have been cycling from Derbyshire to Dunfermline. Uh, they started on Thursday and this is them coming home today so we're all just here to welcome them home. Caroline, how much money do you think you're going to make with this event? Well, so far I think we've raised about £80,000 for M&D, Motor Neuron Disease Scotland. <laughs> And uh, what, what's your involvement been in that fundraising? Um, I helped organise a race night in somewhere else pub in Dunfermline. Uh, we raised uh, just over £1,300. Radio West Five. It really was a carnival atmosphere at Caledonia House, and quite rightly so. I tried to put things into context. 50 miles per day with some really tough terrains and our ever so variable British weather. Later I chatted to Chris about the challenge, he seemed to have taken it all in his stride. What a guy. Chris, remind us of how far you travelled. 312 miles and that's not including diversion. Wow, how do you feel now? Absolutely superb. Uh, yesterday was a great day, we only did 20 miles he said, but compared to some of the 70 mile days it was a breeze. So fresh as a daisy and contemplating a little ride with the family this evening. What, what, what was your uh, welcome like when you arrived back in Dunfermline? Huge, it was the best. We uh, we did come through Derbyshire and Macclesfield where there were welcoming committees, but yesterday topped it all. Uh, the whole of Caledonia House, all the team were out there, a lot of friends and family, a few children from local schools, massive welcome and a huge uplift. And it felt uh, you know, really fit and reward for the effort everyone had put in, not just the nine riders. What parts of the journey did you find particularly challenging? There's a hill or a hilly area in uh, Northern England, Shap Summit in Cumbria, just south of Penrith. Uh, that was immensely challenging. The gradient and the climb on that really took it out of us all. But we, we all did it. No one got off and pushed. We just had to have a good rest and plenty of drinks afterwards. And what motivated you to keep going through that time? Each other. And that was, that was the key, there was a real mixed set of abilities, riders, uh, all ages and different riding experiences on bicycles that just kept egging each other on. Sometimes friendly encouragement, sometimes a few stronger words were needed to keep us going because uh, there were support vehicles there but no one, no one took the option. We all kept going and persevered and the cause, we, we did talk about the cause a couple of times on the ride because there were people who were living with the condition, most neuron disease, who met us along the way at Macclesfield and Derby. So it, uh, it was motivation enough just to keep going through the hard times. The whole team fared very well through the whole lot, yeah? Absolutely. There were bumps and scrapes, a few little crashes, but nothing nothing severe, no. What impact would you say has, this has had on your uh, life, Chris, fulfilling the challenge? Uh, it, it is. I was talking to my best friend earlier this morning and he said it sounds like quite a significant life event and achievement and raising funds for motor neuron disease, uh, but also getting a team of riders of all mixed ages and abilities through the event. That was, that's you know, really what it was about. It was a team event. A few people mistakenly used the word race, but it certainly wasn't the case. It was about supporting one another and getting everyone across the finishing line at Caledonia House. You mentioned the charity there and the money. How much yeah. money have you actually raised so far? So far we've raised £90,000 for charity motor neuron disease. Uh, we're still going. There's plenty of fundraising events that are being sort of finalised in branches throughout the network, and the goal is £100,000 from the that's company that's meeting it. Staggering amount of money, very well done. I mean, just to give you an idea, £90,000, it won't go this way, but it could purchase 300 stair lifts for people living with the condition most mm -hmm. neuron disease to allow them to sort of stay in their own home rather than going to residential care. So that, that's just one of the items that we'd be purchasing with the funds to uh, improve the living conditions. 
Finally, Chris, is this something you would do again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Looking for the next challenge now. We were joking about it on the bike ride. We thought, what's next? Cross-channel swim, land vents, John O'Groats. We've really got the buzz. Some of us are going to really want to keep going, uh, raising money for this really worthy cause. If you would like to help MND Scotland, then pop into your local branch of the Dunfermline Building Society, or you can offer your support online by visiting mndscotland.org.uk. On Channel One for the Queen Margaret Hospital, Radio West Five. In your community, Gary Peaty, Barclay Mack, David Fortune, Matthew Hansen, Rick Bell, Ryan, Ian, and Hez. On Channel One, your number one. Radio West Fife.